Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've already done my full face of makeup and I wanted to really give this eyeshadow palette a shot. So this is going to be my third look using this OXX Studio eyeshadow palette and this one is in Nightfall collection. I just love the cool tone shades that are in this eyeshadow palette which we rarely ever see anymore because we're very highly saturated with berry tone, orange tone or like very very warm red tone eyeshadow palette. On the second look I used this more of like a eggplant shade and that berry shade so for my third look I really want to dive into it and actually use this gray tone shades over here so without further ado let's hop right into the video so what i'm actually going to do is obviously use this three transition shades because these are the only matte shades and we already know that they are somewhat a little bit chalky but it actually blends on my lids so now we are going to swatch this three shades right here so i have this shade right here it looks straight up silver on the camera but actually it has a little bit of like a purple shift to it and then we have this other one which is sort of similar but this shade has got more of a blue shift to it and then we have our matte black so swatching them they're actually fairly pigmented they don't translate as great though when you swatch them it's kind of like patchy but we'll actually see how it performs on the eyes so here is the close-up i actually quite like this shade right here which has more of like a purple shift so i'm actually going to mainly use the shade and then incorporate the other two so i'm going to mix these two shades right here and with the same brush i am going to deepen that up by picking this dark brown right here and before I move straight into using the black I actually wanted to use a little bit of this eggplant shade just underneath the crease because that black can be a little bit intense so I'm going to gradually blend that blend that again with the same brush, I am going to pick up that black shade, really focus that on the outer V and somewhat bring it in. I am going to go back to that transition shade to blend. For the fun part, I'm actually going to use my finger to apply this shade right here which has a little bit more of a purple shift to it. So I'm really packing it on. It does have a little bit of fallout but not a lot. And I'm going to clean this brush a little bit and then blend. I want to add a little bit of depth to it so i think i'm going to pick up a little bit of the shade right here just to put that in the middle because i feel like it's very one dimension now it will just give like a lift so what i'm going to do is to use this eggplant purple shade with the brush that we used to blend the black and just put that on the lower lash line then I am going to go and pick up a smaller brush and use this shade right here which is more of a blue tone grey and pop that on the inner part. Going to pick up the black and apply that over here. For the inner corner highlight, I am going to go and pick up this shade right here which is more of like a creamy shade and then mix that with this one. Okay, that doesn't really work so I'm just going to pick up that white shade with my finger. That's actually pretty and then for brow bone highlight, I'm going to pick up this shade right here. 
I'll just quickly get off, do my lashes, apply some mascara and lipstick and I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts about this eyeshadow palette. This is the final makeup look. Overall, I actually quite like it. So what I did was intensify the eyeshadow by wetting the brush and it definitely make a huge difference as you can see it's more vibrant i feel like the pigment is there there's a little bit of fallout just keep that in mind for it being so affordable i actually highly recommend this eyeshadow palette now i didn't want to just do one impression where i will do makeup i actually fully tried and created a look and this is my third look using the eyeshadow palette and overall it's actually more than workable i wouldn't say it's the best palette that you should have or it's a terrible palette that you should miss out on but if you're looking into playing on makeup and didn't want to spend a lot of money this is a great alternative eyeshadow palette it's 12 dollars and honestly the these days, $12 is just change. I actually quite like how the eyeshadows perform. The outcome that you get is just as good as using higher end products or like better quality products. So yeah, I've got nothing worse to say about this eyeshadow palette. I actually have another one which is in Berry Collection. So I will do a first impression and sort of a similar take. So three looks in one eyeshadow palette and also if you just pop on a good pair of false lashes it totally makes a huge difference so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and i will catch you on the next one bye